What up, man? Album review, Luke James. Um, I know it's an R&B album, but I just wanted to check it out. Uh, Self-titled, Luke James. Uh, 13 tracks. Um, I don't really know. This shit was alright. Cool, but... Yeah. It had its moments with some of the songs. And it's like, man... Mm, I don't get it. But then you get it, but then it's like, I don't get it. But like, number four, three, the interlude shit, like, I don't get why he gets to make the song, or number six, Glass House, I get it, but it's like, really, like, whatever, and number 12, Make Love To Me, I didn't like that, so them like the only three tracks I really didn't fuck with, everything else was cool, you know, um, the first track, Love XYZ, it's a great love song, you know, it's like, Take A Chance At Love, One In Love, that was cool, Dancing In The Dark, um, great production, content was good, um, number four, Trouble, everybody had an ex-girlfriend like that, sorry, we all have, <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it at that, number five, The Run, it's a relatable re record, you know what I mean, like tough love, like if y'all understand what that means, yeah, so, it's definitely a tough record, number six, like I said, I didn't fuck with it, um, but you should never throw stones at a glass house, though. So, you understand that. Uh, exit wounds. Definitely a, a basically saying, fuck you. You know, you got done wrong. Um, and the beats here stuff, that made it fucking crazy. His vocals was good. Uh, number eight, Timex. This interlude I did, like, I didn't, you know, I thought it was brilliant. And it should have been a full song. That's just my opinion. Um... Number nine, I've seen featuring Rick Ross. It kind of got an urban hip hop sound. Um, it served its purpose as far as the concept. It's relatable. Ross kind of did a good job, so I ain't mad at that. Uh, I want you. It's just basically a song about telling somebody you appreciate them, you know, for what they do, or what they should be doing, or what they do, I guess. Eleven, exposing. Um, the content was good. I believe it at that. 12, like I said, I didn't like it. Uh, 13, Stay With Me. It's basically a Sam Smith cover, and he should have left it off the album. I don't, why would you want to play the song of you covering somebody else's song on your album? But he did an okay job. I haven't even heard the original shit, the snippets, and what I heard at the award show. But I mean, Luke James is cool, you know, he's been around for a minute. Um, I think he's featured on a, some people's projects before, you know, but I'm not really an R&B dude like that. I mean, it's cool for what it is, but I don't really don't rock with it like that. I gave it a seven and a half out of 10. Um, production about seven out of 10. I like 10 out of 13 records. Other than that, I mean, if you like R&B, check it out. I'm not recommending it, but if you like it, go ahead and do it. And yep, I'm out.